a Cards with Michael production. What's up, YouTube? Cards with Michael here. Um, <laughs> today's our inaugural Commander Legends Collector Booster box battle. We have Jason here on the left, Anthony on the right. The stakes are high. It's a winner takes all for the entire Commander Legends booster box. And um, the way it's going to work is we're going to open six packs for Jason, six packs for Anthony, and whoever has more value using TCG Player Low. Um, we have our metho methodology for pricing kind of in the description, but it's basically TCG Player Low. Um, we'll win the box. And uh, because this is a video, we can actually price it out and, um, you know, do all the goods. But, uh, you know, sometimes you just know who wins. All it takes is a couple of good hits and you know. But, uh, doing the video editing in post will let us know exactly how much of a win or a loss it is. So, let's get to it. Of course, we have the shuffle packs to make things fair. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and divvy up the packs between Jason and Anthony. Thank you guys, by the way, for sponsoring. I know this video is a little bit later than I wanted to do it. But uh, you guys have been always super patient with me, so let's get to it. All right, pack number one for Jason. Let's see it. Now I'm gonna try my best to actually put all the cards that are worth over a buck. Oh, we're, we're doing only cards worth over a dollar. Look at these common foiling. Um, so let's see, oh, that's definitely over a dollar. Counterspell foil, like Senate Art. All right, got our two legendaries. And we go, that's Will. All right. And we have our preordain extended art, a root weaver druid extended art. I don't think either of these cards might be over a buck. Nadia, Rabble Soul Tender. Oh, that's something. Nevenral Urborg Tyrant, Soldier Token. All right, let's go to Anthony. Let's see how Anthony does. First pack was okay. <laughs> Only okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at that. We have a foil extended art rejuvenating springs. Now that is definitely a win. Give a, go ahead and give that a sleeve. Here we are. And then we have Viserys here is our extended art. Port Razor. All right, we got a Mythic. All the Mythics are about two, two or three bucks. Um, it's kind of frustrating to get Mythic extended arts because it does mean Probably have a less chance of getting, you know, the Lotus and the, the Drain and the Tutor, but we'll see. Prismatic Piper. All right. Rakdos, Lord of Riots. And again, Arcanum Weaver. A little treasure token. All right. All right, let's open a pack for Jason. Let's see how he does. We've, Anthony's in the lead right now. That land is worth quite a bit. Quite a pretty penny. We don't see it very often. All right, Sweet Gum Recluse. That's not the foil rare we want. A generous gift, extended art, and then a quarter of iron, extended art. Then we have Captain Vargas, Zedru, and a Quain. Great. And treasure token. Treasure Angel token. Actually, Treasure Angel token might be the token that is actually worth something. So, not bad. Anthony, let's see how you do. I think I'm going to reorganize my piles after this as well. Right now I'm just doing things that I feel like are over a dollar and things that are not, but are so rare. All right, Swift Foot Boots, that's a nice treat. Foil Extend Art. And we have a Promise of Tomorrow by Seth McKinnon. All right. I don't know, we have an Acidic Slime and Soul of Eternity. Kedis is our first etch Foil. Vile Smasher the Fierce, that's a nice little pool. And a Yearlock of Scorch Thrash, a Salamander Zombie Token. All right, Jason. You're back up on the plate. Let's see how we do. Here we go. A little foil preordain. Right. It's worth money at a certain point. And we have a Sakashima's Will foil extended art. We don't see too many foil extended art rares, so that's nice. Opal Palace extended art. Blasphemous Act extended art. Um, then our Miara Krom and an Averna the Chaos Bloom. All right, all right. Here we go. Anthony, let's see how you do. Let's see it. We have a Bio Waste Blob as our foil rare. Boo. Oh, that was a good one. And a Soul Ring. All right, all right. That's a small victory right there. Rings of Bright Hearth, also a small victory. Numa. Hey! Bing, bing, bing. That's a really nice one. That's two blue green cards that are really nice. And a card for the thumbless. So, Thracios, you know, one of the better pulls in these packs. 
on pace with the pack, of course. The, this card is, ah, uh, well, it's one of the best etched foils in here. It's one of the best commanders. Um, often going with Timna. All right, Jason, let's see what you do. I think Anthony's still in the lead. No big whammies yet. So we're, we're, we're looking for the big whammies. All right, Hans Ericsson and Body of Knowledge. That is not a big whammy. Factor Fiction, Body of Knowledge again. Siani, Derevi, and Akroma. All right, Akroma's not a bad hit. It's one of the better pulls. Um, she is such a strong commander. It's such a fun commander. And it's really nice that it gave her a partner. So, all right, we'll put that right in there. All right, we're down to about halfway through the box. Anthony, let's see what your fourth pack looks like. Here we go. All right, that's another Foil Accenter art uncommon. A lot of the Foil Accenter art uncommons are worth quite a pretty penny. This Thought Vessel, notwithstanding. Here we go. Blasphemous Act, Foil Rare. Three visits, Accenter art. It's a beauty. And no, our second Mythic Accenter art is a Triumphant Reckon. All right, a roomy. This one's gonna be good. I would spec on this if you can get it for less than two bucks. Prosh, all right. I remember foil Prosh in Masters 25. That was worth like 25 bucks. And Elisa, Shroud of Dusk. All right, all right. So far still, no big whammies. We got a couple of mythics. Three mythics so far that are all extended art non-foil. All right, let's see the big whammies. I believe foil command tower is actually one of the fo few foil commons and uncommons that are still over a buck. Rings of Bright Hearth, Foil Rare. That's a nice little treat as well. The Witches, Austere Commands. All right, all right. And a Tormod, the Desecrator. Xenagos, not bad. And a Hans Ericsson. All right, all right. Ah, Anthony, let's, let's open the pack and see how we're doing. We still got three packs to open, including this one. All right, we got a Foil in our Braid. I mean, you'd be getting a lot of the full extent art. I believe Braid might just be barely a dollar. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, oh boy. What is this? Anthony. <laughs> oh, okay, we're gonna keep going. Coiling Oracle. <laughs> Training Center Extended Art, Itekik, Maelstrom Wanderer, Nimrus, and I can't believe it, in our first battle too, this is a winner takes all Anthony, Jason, I'm I'm super sorry, I, I mean, I'm, I feel like you're probably happy for Anthony, we're all friends, Jason, Anthony, uh, we're all, you guys have been fans of the channel for a while, you guys probably, this is not even the first time you guys have battled, but oh my goodness, oh, Oh, I think the condition is really nice. I mean, basically why am I checking condition? I've actually, oh shoot, wait, there's a printer dot here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but still, look, this is the best pull of the set. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Anthony. <laughs> All right, well, pretty sure we know who won this battle. <laughs> but uh, you know, we'll dutifully place out the names anyway, just to get an idea. Uh, with the box value. I think we'll probably do a box value with and without the the uh, Jewel Lotus. Oh, wow, it's the first time I've said the word Jewel Lotus. Gosh, it's been a bit. This is the first time I've ever opened the Foil Center version of Jewel Lotus. And we got it on camera, so I'm really happy. Reshaped Earth, Foil Mythic, Thought Vessel. And for you guys who are watching, um, can I just ask, uh, if, you are, if you're gonna say congrats to Anthony and stuff, try not to spoil the fact that the Lotus is being opened. Um, just for those others who are watching. All right, we got Rebecca, Ramos, Dragon Engine. That's a nice little one. And a Jared. You went to Jared. We do see a lot of these little printer dots like that on these etch foils. Don't think they're worth too much. Um, maybe a collector might be interested in them. But anyways, let's do this. Let's do this. All right. So excited. Okay. We're going to open one more pack for Anthony. Gosh, Anthony, we always pull you the spice. We have a foil extender and necrotic hex. Path of Ancestry, Wheel of Myth Misfortune, which is actually worth a decent amount for it's a three mana wheel. Emoti, Rehan, Last of the Abzan, Kodama of the East Tree, the foil token. Guys, um, we know what the result is, but we'll put up the prices, which hopefully we've been putting up the prices up until now. Um, and uh, I believe this was actually a pretty solid box, but I think without the Lotus, it would have actually not hit. The mark that I'm aiming for is about 250 now. Um, if, if we get about 250 in value, I think 
think that box was okay. Um, but this one obviously clearly you know, skyrocketed over it. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll be doing some more battles. If you're interested in these type of battles, they're, they are winner takes all. Um, and uh, you just kind of have to find another person who's willing to, to battle with you. But otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next one.